Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to episode 69 of Lab Padres SpaceX and Starbase Weekly Updates. We're going to keep it short and sweet for you today, so let's dig in. Starting things off at the build site, the first corner section of the third level of the new mega bay was lifted into place, slotting cleanly onto the second level section in about an hour. A number of flanged parts and other miscellaneous pieces of the Deluge system's pipework were loaded onto a trailer and trucked out of the launch site. The rear hood of the booster quick disconnect was brought back to the launch site. The hood protects the flexible pressure, electrical, and propellant lines from the forces of launch. As the clock ticked past midnight, Booster 11 was lifted off its work stand and placed onto a transport stand. A few hours later, Booster 11 was rolled out of the Mega Bay, taking a short trip on Highway 4 before turning into the Sanchez site, where it would join the other boosters in the Rocket Garden. Over at the launch site, the Booster Quick Disconnect hood was reinstalled on the orbital launch mount. With the hood in place, repairs on the Booster's Quick Disconnect fittings have probably been completed. Returning to the build site, the second section of the new Mega Bay's third level was lifted into place. This section remained attached to the crane for some time after the lift. After several weeks of ground prep and iron work, a trio of pump trucks began to place concrete for the water deluge plates foundation under the orbital launch mount. Dozens of loads of concrete were brought in by convoys of trucks, which continued to arrive through the entire night and into the morning. After roughly 130 loads of concrete and 11 hours of a continuous piping, the first stage of the foundation's pour was completed and the work crews departed shortly after 10 a.m. The foundation mat has been half filled with concrete and left to cure, with the second half of the concrete work expected in the coming weeks. Early in the afternoon, Starship 25's flaps were tested as the launch operations team proceeded with the countdown towards the ship's first static fire test. When the countdown reached zero, Starship 25's six Raptor engines roared to life, bringing fire to the suborbital stands for the first time since Starship 24's December 15th test fire. Late Tuesday evening, the fourth section of the Mega Bay's third level was brought to the build site, clearing the way for the assembly of the fourth level sections at Sanchez. A new methane tank was delivered to the launch site on Wednesday. The extra long tank made use of gang transporters to help carry the load for the delivery truck. Wednesday afternoon saw the installation of the third section of the Mega Bay's third level moving into place at a similar pace to the first two assemblies of the new building. A five-ring Starship payload bay section, configured for Starlink satellites, was brought to the high bay on Thursday, where it's expected to be integrated into a test article. Over at the launch site, the newly delivered methane tank was lifted and installed onto its supporting pedestal, expanding the capacity of the propellant farm. This week at the Cape saw the launch of Falcon 9 Booster 1069 on Friday, lofting Starlink Group 5-12's 56 satellites into orbit from SLC-40. Bob returned to Port Canaveral on Tuesday, bringing along Just Read the Instructions with Booster 1069 and both fairing halves from the Starlink mission. Crosby Skipper towed a short fall of Gravitas to sea for the European Space Agency's Euclid Telescope mission, which will map the shape and redshift of galaxies in the universe to understand dark matter and dark energy. While Crosby Skipper set sail, Falcon 9 Booster 1069 was lifted off Just Read the Instructions and onto the docks for stowage, transport, and refurbishment at Hangar X. Finally for this week, Doug set out to sea on Thursday for fairing recovery in support of the Euclid Telescope mission. And there you have it, another SpaceX and Starbase weekly update brought to you by Lab Padre. We'll see you next week, and thanks for watching. Lab Padre, out.